The AR Dome project was built to be a, an experience that's inside a big geodesic dome. Inside that dome there are three different kiosks and a large central display. So right now we're looking at one example of one of those kiosks. Each of the people that enter the dome they get given one of these handheld tablets in a special custom designed case which is very robust and it also has a pistol grip handle to be easy to use and lastly it has a lanyard that is clipped on here that goes around their neck for a bit of extra protection and then each user also gets as well as the tablet they get a handheld paddle and so they can use that to interact with the scene the client particularly wanted them to be able to hold things in the palm of their hand and so this is how we enabled that by using a paddle so each of the three kiosks looks a little bit similar to this each of the kiosks is actually circular so there would be objects around the entire kiosk allowing lots of users to use it at once but in this case we have them all on one half of the kiosk and then they have a central feature in the middle of the kiosk so the interaction is, is like this you use your paddle to pick up a planet that you're interested in, in working with and so once you've picked it up you can see a version of it in the center of the table or you can hold it in your hand and, and see the object in your hand as well so then we can go and uh, pick up something else so they're obviously uh, spinning at their relative speeds and you can see that their, uh, their mass density distance is in the bottom corner relative to earth and in the other corner is their size relative to earth and so you can go around exploring each of the different planets Okay, so this is another kiosk that's also running the same software. So this software automatically adapts to the second kiosk and it shows different visualizations of satellite data on the surface of the Earth. So again, using the same interface, we can pick up uh, a version of the Earth and you can see the continents outlined and you can see in this case it's surface temperature and you can see the surface temperature of that part of the Earth and it's animating uh, through a one year pro cycle. You can see the month in the bottom corner of the screen. And then we can see a big version of it again. And we can go and grab something like uh, vegetation and look at that as well. The third table has a slightly different interaction. This one has a single earth in the center of the table and on the outside it has a physical box. I'll cover it up so you can see it. It's actually a physical cube that is mounted on a dolly that spins around the table in a circle. And this is representing the moon, obviously. You can see that there. And um, as you move the moon around the earth, uh, you can see in the bottom right hand corner how the moon is changing through different phases. So we're going from the waning gibbous phase into the full moon phase. And so this is all relative to sunlight that you can see with the sun rays coming in from the left hand side. Okay, the final part of this exhibit is actually the first thing that most people would see when they come in because it is a big solar system that is mounted on a post in the middle of the room with a cube. So you can walk around the post a complete 360 degrees and you can see an animated solar system and you can see planets orbiting the Sun and if you look closely you can even see the moons orbiting the planets. There's some uh, moons around Saturn or Jupiter over there. 